Yeah, that's cool, man. No, it looks good. Oh, yeah. What we're waiting on now is to figure out what turbo we're going to put in here. It's not terrible. Not terrible, but... You can see some color in the light. Yeah. <laughs> it's a wee bit nasty. So... Uh, we need to change out the tension arms on this bad girl. <laughs> So, you know, the, we started off, how many miles from here? It's like, uh, what, 200? It's a, yeah, it's exactly four hours. Right, so four hours, right? And then afterwards, as we're driving, yeah. we're getting closer and closer. Hey, you know, you can tell he's getting, yeah, he's getting more excited about it. And then it. we stopped at a gas station on the road, and he's like, oh, my God. Oh, my God, we're almost there. We're almost there. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. And we're here. Yeah. So. Yeah, we appreciate you guys. No, I appreciate you guys, especially for him, you know, been very patient. And, uh, yeah. Dream come true. What was our favorite game growing up? Tokyo Extreme Race 3. Ah. Yeah, we still own it. Oh. <laughs> He still oh, has it. Yeah, seriously? I still have my PS2 that we played. Whoa. And we were playing it the other day. We were day. playing it the other day. It, okay, so multiplayer sucks, but the single player. The, yeah, the single player You sucks. can't. Even even the newer ones, like Shotaku Battle or all those other yeah. ones, they don't beat that game. So the struggle, the struggle growing up, right? Memory card. Oh, right, man. Bring it up, bring it up. What happened? We, I was really deep into the game. But I was I, in elementary school. You can't blame me, man. No, I'm not blaming you. <laughs> but no, 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 no. It's already, it's, what is it? Uh, what is it? It's Water under a bridge okay, or whatever. So he was already <laughs> in the second stage, you know, where you beat everyone and then you go again. And I think he was like starting the Tokyo saga again with like brand new rivals and all this other bullshit. And I'm like, oh, I'm going to start a new game. Click. It's like, would you like to overwrite? Yeah, sure. Click. And then I started playing for like a couple hours. He's like, where's my info? Like he comes back and it's this shitty Mitsubishi FTO and like Nagoya. <laughs> He's like, <Yeah>. no! no! <laughs> it's badass. It's sick. Do you guys usually have one of these, give or take? Uh, we, normally, we normally have one bought at some point. Like one in the system. Like whether we just picked it up last night and mm -hmm. it's three months away or it's, you know. There, yeah, I, I did notice yeah. that, that there's, you space them out like that, 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 and then yeah. a SEMA or a Cedric or something like that, yeah. yeah. I think this is the only one we have in the system right now. We yes. Do, we do have a Gloria. Um, it's white, it's got a, a white lip kit. Like, I mean, it's color matched lip we kit. We have another green SEMA coming in too. Uh, green oh yeah, that one has brown leather. Yeah, leather feels more like you're not with the other person, the previous owner that was there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's, there He's just there with you like, you like my car? <laughs> <laughs> I hadn't seen it yet, I see no that's other I told you. Thing. Well, you got plenty of time to see it, oh, man. That's why I told him. I've been to see it so many times. Yeah, that's cool, man. No, it looks good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. She's clean. It's hard to find vehicles this clean. I was telling the rest of them we're gonna go to uh, Cars and Coffee, hopefully for November nice. in uh, Virginia Beach. He's gonna go in as a C5 Corvette. Awesome. And we're gonna be the uh, the pop up brothers. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> awesome. There you go, man. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate it. I see that. I appreciate you. <laughs> I don't know. Was there a keychain on his key? Uh, I was about to say I haven't seen the key yet. That's <laughs> I might need that. <laughs> All right, it took a while. Uh, we got the exhaust off, cut off. I'm sure you guys saw that. And uh, we got the turbo manifold elbow and uh, all that out. So what we're waiting on now is to figure out what turbo we're gonna put in here, um, whether or not Josh is gonna make or um, if we're gonna use a prefab intake or exhaust manifold. But this is all Josh land now. Ain't that right, Josh? This thing uh, is basically where we're at right now. We want to build the car first, and do all the fab stuff that we need to, uh, and then we'll take it all apart, send it to paint, do our stuff on the engine bay, make it look pretty, um, freshen everything up, do the interior stuff after we're done with fabrication. So that's the plan, Stan, and uh, we're sticking to it.
Oh man, ladies and gents, we finally have some organizational space in this shop. Finally. So, we got some racks. We don't have a forklift yet. We're getting one. Josh is uh, working on putting some AEM. Infinity. And this thing, how's it going? All right. So we've got some racks, super stoked. Um, that way we can keep all the parts for one build. Cause as you guys know, we have a lot of builds going on. And um, they're all at different stages and just having all the parts in one specific spot makes it a whole lot easier for us. So yeah, that's awesome. What is up friends and family of the vlog? We are started off here this morning working on this black R32 GTR. Uh, this is Brad's car. He's actually going to come out, fly here, drive the car before we start building it so he can see the difference on where it was when it came in and where it is after we're done with it. So right now we're just running through it, doing a check-in list, changing all the fluids, checking the fluids, going through all the suspension, making sure this car is gonna be sound for when he gets here. But I mean, it's a super nice car. It's got a bunch of aftermarket parts, bunch of Nismo parts. We got some Nismo arms back here, Cusco uppers. And he's got some solid collars back here and super hikers. Super beefy exhaust. Some crazy looking down pipes. Nismo arms, like every arm is aftermarket, which is awesome. Yeah, 2-4U steering rack, this is an N1. Nismo lowers. Cusco uppers. Uh, these might be Cusco outers. Maybe. I'm not sure what Coelho is. Either way, we gotta replace the outers and we have to replace a bushing for the rear strut. Oh. That's, uh, I'd say it was about time for, well, it's not terrible. Not terrible, but. You can see some color in the light. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so we're just going through this thing, making sure it's mechanically sound for when he gets here. This car uh, in final form is going to be absolutely insane. Yeah. That's the only way to, to put it. This car will be insane. So we're working on the, uh, you know, going over the, the, the black R32 and check the air filter. It's, um, it's a wee bit nasty. So all this that's around it is supposed to be like a rubber seal. So everything seals right. But this rubber seal is like, it's goopy. Goopy man, and it's all over everything. So it's inside the box, inside the cover. We're gonna have fun. <laughs> yeah. But like, I just—it must have gotten super hot or something. Look at it. Even has little. And I'll give you a dollar to eat it. Uh, it's a good thing they even put like a little filter on the back of the map. Yeah. Or maybe they retaped it. Down. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, they third. did some stuff. Yeah, it's so the, we're going to throw a different filter in this thing. Like, yeah. This is a really nice filter, though. It's it got is. the metal all around the outside, the metal mesh for the fins. But, like, this is no bueno. There's no happen. You, I mean, you got to touch it, and it's, like, everywhere. All right, guys, so we've gotten to the point now. we got the plugs out, the old plugs. Um, they don't look super bad, but it was definitely time to change those up. And I'll tell you what, you've never seen a cleaner set of pistons in a motor. Yep, Dan's checking out the pistons. Oh, oh five can't really oh. see it on there. You see O5U uh, right there? Yep, O5U. Now, let me Stop. see if you can get a full view of that. Look how clean those pistons are. Yep. Those look really, really good. Yep, all six of them look just like that, too. Sweet. But yeah, uh, checking out the pistons, making sure there's nothing going on with those. Next step, we're gonna do a compression test. Test each cylinder to make sure we got a good motor, which I'm sure we do, but there's always that one thing that could be wrong. So we're gonna go ahead and get that done. First step to doing a compression. 
you take off your cam angle sensor and that cuts fuel and everything and uh, so yeah we're gonna go ahead and start doing this all right so compression test came back really really well uh, numbers right here 169 169 171 170 174 169 so those are really good numbers and we don't have to worry about this motor being bad so that's a really big plus so fuel filters are a very important key to having a good running vehicle this is why we change fuel filters your fuel is not supposed to be black just FYI <laughs> So every vehicle that we get in gets a new fuel filter because of this reason. Oh, that's just nasty. But that's good though, right? Yeah. I'm just kidding. Don't throw any sparks in this trash can. Ed. Yes, sir. Quick backstory. Okay, so when I first started working here, I uh, changed out a fuel filter and I threw the fuel filter in Ed's trash can. Well, he had to grind some stuff and he was like, oh, let me grab my trash can, put it underneath. Shooting sparks down in it and all of a sudden, whoo, goes up. <laughs> we finished the tune up on this GTR and we're about to go out and test drive it, listen for anything weird, um, see how she does power wise, make sure she doesn't, you know, basically check everything uh, make sure she's doing good. Lights off. Cover is kind of loose. Now, don't stall it. It's got a twin disc. I probably will. <laughs> if you stall it, I'm going to be mad because i got to get out and freaking jump this thing again. Yeah, I know. Just some mirrors. Got some pretty rad little visor screens up here. They're actually see-through. Yeah, because, you know, once you go full race car and put a cage in. You can't get regular. Mike oh, was there. Oh, my bad. That's the wrong switch. That's pretty cool. real good. It's very consistent though. Yeah. It's like even through second and third. So our assumption is the battery is just way too dead. Um, so we've got a jump pack. We're gonna I'm gonna hook it up to it constantly and see if uh, it gets in into uh, boost. Um, yeah, you can watch the voltage meter. You know, as it breaks up, um, it literally just drops voltage. So yeah. So our assumption, battery just can't hold it. So we're gonna give it some extra juice, and uh, hopefully everything clears up. Which I'm hope I'm thinking it will, because I mean, wrong, wrong. every time that we get into boost or something and it starts breaking up I'm losing like the radio will turn off and I'm losing lights and shit like that so it's got to be something to where the battery just doesn't have enough juice doesn't have enough voltage to push the whole system so it's cutting it out which I mean that's a common problem with these things they sit for so long at port and I mean you don't know if they left a light on or how dead the battery actually is so, hopefully this fixes it. Fingers crossed. Ta-da! Fixed it. Yo, this thing is nice. I like it. She got 
have some booty behind her. I dig it. This thing is nice, man. Like it feels good. The power's so good. Like it's not super quick, but it's enough to where you can like. Oh, okay. It's got that RB26 torque. Yeah. <laughs> Is that a 33? <laughs> oh, the Malibu 33, what? It's definitely by far the coolest part of our jobs. Yeah, that and shooting <laughs> videos. Yeah. Like, because then you can actually drive the cars. Yeah. All right, it's project number two for this glorious day. Uh, we need to change out the tension arms on this bad girl. These bad boys right here, these are your tension arms, and there's a bushing in here that has fluid inside of it. The bushing rips, and then all your fluid drains out, and it's no good. So, we have these beautiful new ISR arms. To go on it. So we're gonna take out these, and put a this right there and uh, get alignment and we be good to go. So, I'm gonna show you guys what all comes with this. Of course, we have our fancy dancy tension arms. If I can get these open. Tension arms. So this is gonna go into the subframe and then this is gonna mount to the lower control. And we got some new hardware. These are the bolts that go down into the lower control arm, just like that. Pretty much factory, so the alignment's not way off. And uh, then we'll get an alignment on it. This is what we're looking at. Uh, come on, focus, baby. So all those cracks that are in that bushing, uh, after time they will wear out and the fluid that's inside of this will start leaking out. That's why we need to replace it. This side, super easy, I already got it on. This side, however, the bolt that goes through, you can see it right there, uh, is hitting the compressor for the AC before we can even get it out. So what we have to do is take the belt off on the front and move the compressor out of the way so we can get this bolt out, so we can change out the arm, and then put the compressor back in, hook the belt back up. But yeah, yep, that's where we are. So let me tell you what had happened. What are you doing, man? So let me <laughs> tell you what had happened. Unless we were to take the entire AC system out, we were never gonna get this bolt out. So our boss, i.e. Ed, Ed said, cut the bolt, put another one in it. So, following orders. Different blade. 